Submitted. Gentlemen, we've also had a chance to uh, examine the agenda tonight. So move. Is there a second? Favor? Agenda passes. Before we begin, I'd like to take a moment to clarify that the Planning Commission is a recommending body to the Columbia County Board of Commissioners. The decisions made on rezoning and request tonight. Come on in, ladies, you're fine. Be forwarded to the commissioners. For. <laughs> looking for the other thing. I tend to have that. Um, the decisions made on rezoning and variance last night were final action on November 3rd, 2020, in these chambers. If you wish to address the Board of Commissioners at their meeting, please appeal. Outside, give them direction. Any request to speak. As formal in these chambers, uh, however, tonight. Wow. That being said, uh, we'll move forward in our uh, first conceptual plan, uh, the woodlands at Riverwood. Yes, sir, and the applicant has requested to table this item, so it's up to you if you would like to hear what it's about tonight or not. Yes. November 5th. will probably presentation and table the concept plan. <coughs> Second. Second. Question? Favor? Uh, Mr. Butler, individual plat for Brandon Wall. Thanks. This is a request for an individual plat off Smith, Smith Crawford Road, <coughs> five acres, currently is an RA residential agricultural uh, for two lots. This is location of the property on the north side of Smith, Smith Crawford Road. This is the uh, configuration as it was back in August. And this is the zoning, again, RA residential agricultural. So in August, in August 2020, this year, uh, track B was subdivided out of the original 204 acres. Uh, then in September, we had two more tracks subdivided out on the south side. And then we have the one before you this evening. So the reason y'all are seeing this, uh, we have, this is, you're creating the fifth lot, this one right here, out of the original tract with this. And it's been, it's used up its uh, minor plat abilities um, actually more than once. Uh, so that's why y'all are seeing it. Uh, staff recommends approval of the request. It is, again, a 63-acre parcel. Well, you can't see it anymore. And the 6th acre parcel here and the 31.2 acre parcel there. I think yes, I recommend, recommends approval. Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion to approve the individual plat, Brendan Wall. Baltic, final plat for Dolman Long. Yes, sir. This is uh, the next section of Canterbury Farm. So this uh, 
Final plot is located off Canterbury Farms Parkway and in the planned unit development. This is at the back of the development adjacent to uh, the recently rezoned Galloway Tract, so our zoning map's not quite updated yet. Uh, this is the final plot for this, these sections. Um, it is 102 lots with a minimum lot size of 6,875 square feet and an average lot size of 9,105 square feet. The setbacks are a minimum of 25 feet from the right-of-way for the lots in Tract 2 and 30 feet from the right-of-way for lots in Tract 1. Um, side setbacks are a minimum of 7.5 feet and rear setbacks are a minimum of 10 feet. Um, there are sidewalks on both sides of the roads for this development and 6.24 acres of open space is provided. Uh, this is the existing site and staff is recommending approval. Bolte, provisional occupation. Yes, sir. This is a provisional home occupation at 5772 Lynette Lane. I'm currently zoned RA residential agriculture. Um, this is a cryptocurrency mining and IT computer infrastructure business. Um, so this is the location of the property on the south side of Lynette Lane um, off Lewisville Road, uh, just north of I-20. And an aerial of the site, um, obviously the existing house, and then there's a, a small outbuilding behind the house that the applicant will be using to house servers, computer equipment, things like that to run the business. Um, with the home occupations code, we do require that all business activities be kept inside the house for a customary home occupation. Um, so he's here for the provisional home occupation approval in order to convert that structure and use it to house the computer equipment. Um, staff is recommending approval. Uh, we have no public hearing, text amendments, or added items, no legal matters. Do we